Okay guys, this new design that I have, I'm going to show you guys how I resized it to fit what I'm making. When it comes up in design space, I've got it set at 10 inches, it's a little bit longer than that, or larger than that. Um, what I did, you can see I already have mine done over here, but I'm going to show you how I do it. I bring up the shape, I measure the plate that I'm going to put it on. And the plate I'm going to put it on is 10 inches. So there you have your 10 inches. I'm going to change it to a lighter color. This is the design. I'm going to go ahead and ungroup it. I'm going to get rid of this. And I made the design so that this isn't attached because the plate that I'm using, it's got a ridged edge, so I don't need to have this black part in here. This was just if you wanted to make it into a sign. So I'm going to ungroup this. And this little black pin here I'm going to hide. And in my case, I'm going to go ahead and make this smaller so you guys can see. And first what I want to do is I want to duplicate this circle here. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So I'm going to take it down. Just to give you guys an example. I'm going to take it to 9 inches and change the color on that. And I'm going to align this. Bring this over. And now you can move this. However you feel like you need to do it. Make it bigger, make it smaller. I'm going to ungroup it. Let's show you guys here. Ungroup it again. When I did the design, I left this separate. I didn't leave it all together. Sometimes plates don't line up exactly right. If that's what you want to put it on, I didn't want to weld it all together so that you guys couldn't move it around. But it's very easy to, to move it here. And then you can move this one down here. And then take your two. And then center. Oh, sorry. I don't want to do that. It, so when you cut it, it all cuts all together, or you can just group it, however you want to cut it. I'm going to go ahead and attach it, just for this purpose right here. And then all three of these guys I'm going to move over. And same with this, you can move them around if you want to, however you want to work. Let's take that back away. Like I've said before, I'm a very visual person, so... I always get some kind of base in the back so I know how it's going to look on the plate when I go to cut it or on the on the mat, however you want to word it. Like I said, I already have mine done, so I'm going to hide this. And this is the one I'm going to cut. Now, I don't need the orange and the gray. That's just for me, for my visual purposes. So I'm going to hide this. Okay. That part I have hidden because I don't need it. So I'm going to go ahead and put them on my mat so you guys can see. And you know I like to put all my colors together. So my white's going to be there. Black I'm going to cut separately because there's so many different pieces. I don't want to have to smoosh them all on the same mat. My red. I'm going to move over here. I'm going to move it to the white. Okay. I don't know if you guys know this little trick either. Let's, let's say, let's say I want to recut it again. And I don't need this part, I only need these. And you can take this, these little dots here, you can hide select. It. And then it comes down here and it shows you which part's hidden. So if you want to bring it back, you click on it, it'll come back. Cute little trick, I don't know if you guys know that or not. 
Let me see if it's my orange. Give me that. I like to make the bigger pieces to the bottom, that's just how I do it. Okay, I'm going to put the other color, or beige, whatever color you want to use. Green cookie, we all like green cookies, right? I like to move them before I move them to the other mat. It really land in the right places. So, for example, if I didn't move it, when I go to move object, I go back over here, it lands right on top of it. So, I mean, it's not really a big deal. You can move it, but sometimes you get all your pieces moving together. That's kind of a pain. Um, now, normally as I'm going, I'm putting my vinyl on my mat. So when I get ready to cut it, it's ready. But just for this purpose here, just to show you guys how to do it. Let me just move my around on the mat. Continue. dial on custom. I like to cut my vinyl on wax paper. It works better for me. Some people like to use the washi, the washi tape setting. I prefer this one. and then I always choose more. And then you feed your mat in, hit your little button, and you go from there. And we'll come back and we will assemble it all.